Hey there, folks. Um, you know what? I just downloaded the new version of Crazy Talk Animator, Crazy Talk Animator 2.1. I have upgraded my uh, software package, and uh, I'm getting ready to try out um, my uh, my one of my original characters that I created uh, using the previous version of Crazy Talk. Now, this is my template that I'm using right now uh, for my character. I've uh, done some additional tweaks to it just to make sure that the little pivot points are uh, aligned to each other and stuff like that. Um, you know, nothing, you know, too modified. Uh, aside from that, it's pretty much the same template that I've been using with no additional modifications whatsoever. And um, I'm going to go ahead and import the SWF created by that template. So I'm going to switch over to the character composer. And I am going to switch to the SWF import option. And uh, there it is. Click open. And just import it. Now it still does take a while. Uh, my computer is actually pretty fast. Uh, it's a six core machine. And uh, uh, what else can I tell you about it? It has a pretty decent video card as well as a solid state hard drive. So, you know, it's a pretty fast machine. Now I do still have some errors and uh, these errors of course are based on my left ear sprites, right ear sprites, stuff like that, that not being there. Um, that's because my character doesn't have ears and that's perfectly fine. So nothing too much to worry about there. Um, one of the things I noticed right away is that the left eye is there. So let's switch over to some of the other angles. And it looks like the issue with uh, the eyes has been fixed. So the duplicate noses may have also been fixed. Let's see here, get a little close up. The mouth, uh, I think we're still having some issues with the mouth. Let's. Uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go ahead and go back to our regular um, our front angle and go to the uh, sprite editor thingy. And yes, I can see that all my sprites for that eye, which has been, was a flipped uh, eye, those have been imported properly. So that is definitely good news. It's going to save a lot of work. Okay, so. Let's uh, before we go, I go any further. Let me fix some of these uh, positioning things by running the uh, multi f multi angle confirmation thingy. So we're gonna click OK on that. All right. So that kind of adjusts a lot of the uh, positions based on my character, the way I created him. All right. So let's switch to the mouth sprite. I'm noticing also that the selection process for for a lot for the sprites is actually easier. I'm basically just clicking here. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, but this used to be a pain in the ass trying to select uh, different sprites. You, you normally had to double click and right click. It was very um, unpredictable. But it seems like the clicking and the selecting process seems to be a little bit more uh, intuitive, more uh, responsive. Uh, the sprites for the eyebrows, I was having a lot of issues with uh, sprites being duplicated and, um, and doubled up on the same sprite. And it looks like that issue has been fixed. But of course, you know what? we still have the issue with the mouth and let's take a look at that mouth sprite now the front angle I guess they didn't really do too much testing on on this because uh, from the front side these sprites pretty much look the same so if they're being duplicated you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference uh, but what I'm noticing is that the normal mouse, since you're duplicating the same instance name here it might just be in like a instance name issue um, I don't know what we can do to fix that. Um, maybe with Puppet Producer, you know, go ahead and replace that sprite. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at these other angles here. The 90 degree, I mean the 45 degree angle, that seems to be fine. All these sprites in the 90 degree angle seem to be the way they're supposed to be.
Yeah. These seem okay. So let me put this back to normal. Let's go to one of these. Okay, here's the 90 degree one. That one got duplicated. And it seems to only be, a f uh, the only sprite that seems to be affected by this issue is the normal mouth, number one and number 22. So let's see here. Uh, yep. Okay, so let's see. So this angle is also affected. In most cases, you guys will probably not ever actually use this, but there is an issue there. Uh, it really depends on the character design. I'm uh, willing to bet that there might be an issue on this side, but you know, you never actually get to see that, so it doesn't really matter. That one, that one, that one, nope not that one and not that one so we have it we have some issues but it's really just the mouse so that's not really that bad these can be easily fixed with puppet producer and uh, the individual export option in puppet producer so let's take a look Ooh, my mouse wheel is working that's kind of nice um, let's take a look at the calibration uh, let's see here So I mean uh, that's very that does stand out right away, you know, the mouth. Uh, so uh, I mean in design I have to go back and fix that joint area there. So some of those joints, I mean, that's up to me to fix in the in the authoring environment. But that alone has really taken a lot of the work out of it, you know. Aside from the mouth, I think um, Crazy Talk Animator 2 is on its way to being a very solid piece of software. I think I'm ready to start using this software on a professional level. I still have some issues with the back hair but there's not too bad there's a little jumping thing so that's something for me to look in um, obviously I need to take a look at my original template and kind of see where everything is aligned or misaligned so I can make sure that all these pieces um, align properly it's a pretty decent little walk cycle let's look at that again so maybe tweak that little elbow a little bit. And uh, let's hey. take a look at the uh, face motions. Up, down. See, up doesn't go left, all the way up. Left doesn't right. go all the way left. And some natural movement. It doesn't look very Eyes natural. Eyes closing and blinking. Up, mm -hmm. down, left, right, and rolling. Okay, his left, my right. A, E. Yeah, not I, a very good E. Oh, that's more of a wo. You and meow. All right, I'll buy that. Smile. Nope. Angry. That didn't work either. Sad. Nope. Happy. Surprised. Mm. Okay, that kind of worked. Scared. No, that's not scared. <laughs> All right. So, you know, some of this calibration options probably should be tweaked a little bit more to be more representative of what you're supposed to be looking at. But um, character seems a little bit more responsive, and it sure as heck was a lot easier to just import that and mo have most of it already um, pre-set up with very minimal fixes. So now I guess I just have to go back and fix that mouth and uh, adjust my pivot points so that the alignment on my character's joint could be a little bit more tighter. But I think it's a very, very, very solid uh, update. So congratulations, Reillusions. Uh, I'm looking forward to continuing to using um, Crazy Talk Animator. And uh, I'm very excited about the direction that the product is going and um, you know I'm encouraging everybody you know uh, all my fellow professional animators you know take a look at crazy talk animator 
Uh, it's definitely something that's going to change the way animation is uh, done. All right, that's it for me. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to do some more experiments and maybe post a few more videos as the week goes on.